So unless you've been living under a rock, you probably heard about the whole Unity disaster. Some morons at Unity came up with this genius idea to introduce a 20 cent fee per game install. Needless to say, this completely backfired and now everyone is suddenly porting their games to other engines. So this leaves me with an important choice. Do I stick with Unity or do I make the switch to a new engine? I've always wanted to try Unreal Engine but I never really had the chance to do it. But thanks to Epic's Mega Jam, this was the perfect opportunity for us Unity devs to try Unreal. So in this video I'm gonna be making my first Unreal real game in three days with absolutely zero experience and the theme for this year is there we go antiquated future a what future hey yo what the fuck so I've probably done more thinking than in my entire life, but I think I finally have a decent idea. It is the year 2122. Unity has taken over the world by developing an incredibly advanced AI which now controls everything. The remaining survivors have to use old school technology like fire weapons or radios to fight against Unity's evil force. Okay, I'm making a first person shooter, so what? I set up all the tasks that I'll be doing on Trello, and now I can start by creating a new Unreal project. Okay, so here we are, Unreal 5. Now what the hell do I do? I guess let's press the play button and see what this does. Okay, so it's a first-person controller, of course. Oh, looks like I can pick up this weapon. Oh, I can shoot balls with this thing. What is this thing? Okay, this looks like the animation blueprint. But how do I... What is this? Holy sh... Why are there so many different tabs? Yeah, I think I'm completely lost. Where do I even begin making this game? So after messing around aimlessly for a few hours, I finally decided I'm gonna be implementing my first feature. And that's gonna be the ability to crouch. What? I gotta start somewhere. So it looks like Unreal 5.3 has this new input system and the old one is deprecated. What is this? Unity? Come on. I guess I'll have to define a new action here. Now hop onto the blueprint. Add action. We'll add some spaghetti over here and... Oh hey, it worked! But it only works once. Oh, turns out I'm just an idiot. But now I want to make a smooth crouch. So I can define a timeline and create a curve. And now I just have to connect this to my lerp. And uh... Why is it not working? Oh, not this again. F I'm so not used to visual scripting. And we have a smooth crouch. Nice. Now I know what you're thinking. This was an absolute waste of time. I mean, that's partially true, but at least I'm getting the hang of those blueprints. Next, I'm gonna add the ability to sprint. I just need a different scale value for when the player is sprinting. Since I'm making a first person shooter, we're gonna need some guns for, you know, the shooting part. So I hopped onto the Unreal Marketplace to find some 3D models for the weapons. I really like this military weapon spec, so I'm gonna add it to the game. And now I'll need a pickup system for the weapon. But uh, yeah, I have no idea how to do that. Luckily I found this awesome YouTube tutorial for how to create a weapon system. So we have weapons now. I just need to instantiate this and... Huh? Um, uh, where is the weapon? Why is he holding it like that? Okay, I think I can just adjust this socket a little bit. I also need this blueprint so it plays the right animation based on the weapon I'm currently holding. And I also need some animations for holding a gun. I think I'm gonna have to make my own. The good part is that you can easily create animations in Unreal using a control rig. The bad part is that my first person hands don't have a control rig. You know what's also bad? That over 96% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. See this? Round juicy subscribe button waiting for you to be <clears throat> so I'll just import the 3D character that comes with the third person template as it contains a control rig mannequin. I think I'll start with something easy like an idle animation. Oh yeah, come at me bro. I wish there was a way to transfer this control rig to my character. Oh, there is. Nice. So after that I spent the next couple of hours animating my character. I finished an entire set of animations for the handgun. I must say I'm quite proud of how they turned out considering it's my first time doing first person animations. I mean they are pretty terrible for your average game standards. But it's almost 3 am. I'm tired as f So I'll see you tomorrow I guess. <laughs> After waking up, I decided it was finally time to move on to the next step of making a first person shooter. And that is implementing the shooting part. I think I'll just do a simple hit scan detection. So doing a raycast from the camera center should be just what I need. Let's add a raycast and... Um... Where is the raycast method? Oh, of course it's called line trace, duh. Because Unreal has to be special, right? Nice, this works perfectly. After that, I added some more spaghetti and now we have ammo and reload mechanics. It seems that whenever I reload, I lose the ammo that was still inside the gun. That's not really the intended behavior though. I mean, hey, it's not a bug. We can call it a feature. Then I made the reload animation which, uh, <laughs> for some reason is rotated by 90 degrees to the left. I found a way to fix this by adding a node which rotates the root bone. But how am I gonna apply it to an animation montage? Hmm. Maybe if I try to... 
Oh, it's just great, isn't it? My only solution was to add the reload animation to the state machine. Okay, why is this state not working? I called the reload over here, then I set the is reloading variable over here, and finally here's the transition. Wait a second, why do I have two is reload variables? Well, never mind that. Turns out I'm just an idiot. Then I did some, you guessed it, more animations. <laughs> This has to be the worst running animation you've ever seen. Now this won't be a proper shooter unless we have some big bad enemies that we can fight. I found this free drone model, but I think it's missing something. Just add this over here, and there we go, we have a Unity Killer drone now. But now I have to program the enemy AI. I didn't really want to go into behavior trees or anything fancy like that, so I just made a simple enemy that follows you and shoots projectiles when he sees you. He's kinda dumb like somebody else I know. And lastly, it was time to add some more polish to the game. This means more visual effects, more sounds, UI animations, even more sounds. Before I knew it, it was already 2 a.m. But then my sleep deprived brain was like, hey, let's add some doors to the game. Yeah, I don't know why I spent one hour making this thing, but here it is. Oh well, it's 3 a.m. in the morning again. I'm dying inside, so uh, I think I'll go hit the sack. And would you look at that, it's day 3 already and the game is no way near done. I think I'll start by making an actual level since, you know, that is kinda important. I mean, who's gonna play a game that looks like this? Luckily I got this awesome brutalist architecture pack for free on the Unreal Marketplace. This office space is starting to look pretty cool, but I think it's missing something. Ah, uh, there we go. And we can't forget about our lord and savior, Unity's CEO, the one and only Tony Tortellini. After that, I created some enemy spawners and now I just need to add some health and ammo. Well, f Anyway, I added a box of bullets, a rifle clip, and probably the worst looking health kit you've ever seen. Then I added some really deep lore at the beginning of the game, a pause screen and a death screen. The last thing I'll need is music, but I think I can reuse the song from Upway Turfers, my first person version of Subway Surfers. And with that, we got everything we need. Let's go make a build then. This looks like it's gonna take a while. I guess I'll just come back when it's done. One hour later. Okay, the build should be done by now. Let's see. Oh no. I think we got problems. So for some reason, my build would keep failing and all I got was some really strange error. Turns out it was just some weird blueprint from an asset pack I imported. Oh well, I just hope my build is not too big. It's just a single scene after all. 3 gigabytes, holy sh**. How is that possible? It looks like by default, Unreal will try to pack together everything from your project. Why would I ever want that? So after changing a few settings, I managed to get my zip file to a reasonable 770 megabytes. Then of course, I made an each page where I uploaded my game to get with a description and a few screenshots. Shots. So here's my final submission. The game jam is still ongoing until tomorrow morning, but I've only slept for like 8 hours in the past 3 days. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Now I gotta say this was quite an experience. Learning a game engine as complicated as Unreal in 3 days is not easy, you know? Heck, even the first person template feels like rocket science at first. But I'm happy with how the game turned out. And as usual, you can download the game for free using the link in the description. Subscribe for more and see you in the next one.